Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. And don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe for more great videos. Okay guys, I have another great story for you today. And this story is going to be about the one and only Brandon Adams. Now Brandon was born and raised in Topeka, Kansas. And as a young child, Brandon began appearing in TV commercials, which then landed him his first role on the TV sitcom called The Empty Nest in the late 1980s. Now, fast forward to the 1990s, Brandon got the lead role for the movie The People Under the Steers, which also starred fellow actor Bing Rhymes, and he did a great job in that movie. You might also remember Brandon for playing a young Michael Jackson for the music video Bad. Now, during the 1990s, Brandon appeared on some hit TV shows like Boy Meets World, Sister Sister, Moesha, and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air where he played Ashley Banks' boyfriend. You may also remember Brandon from being in some hit 1990s movies, like The Mighty Ducks, where he played the character Jesse Hall. Now, the movie was about a bunch of kids being trained by their coach to become a successful hockey team. And the movie went on to be a huge success in a childhood classic. And Brandon was also in the movie The Sandlot, which was about a group of kids who played baseball in the neighborhood and became good friends. He played the character Kenny. Now that movie was also a success and went on to become a movie classic. Now during this time, Brandon was becoming a rising star as a young actor. Now fast forward to the early 2000s, Brandon's best friend, Marilyn Santana, you might remember him from being on the hit TV show, The Steve Harvey Show where he played the character Romeo. Now, Merlin was also a child star actor in the 1990s, and he appeared on some hit TV shows like Moesha and Sister Sister. Now, besides being very handsome, Merlin was also a very talented actor as well. Now, in 2002, Brandon and Merlin were sitting in a parked car when two men approached them and began shooting. Now, Merlin was shot and did not survive but Brandon was able to recover from his injuries. Now, the two men were eventually caught and convicted for this, as well as a young girl who was also involved. Now, after this happened, Brandon was devastated. Not only did he lose his best friend, but he was there when it happened. Now, after that incident, Brandon took a long break from acting and the spotlight. Now, after a few years went by, Brandon was able to recover and come back to acting. Now fast forward to today, Brandon doesn't act as much anymore, but still makes public appearances and keeps his personal life private. He's mostly just living his life and focused on his family. Well guys, I always thought Brandon was a talented child star actor, and I really think if he continued to act, he would have gone even further with his career. But unfortunately, that tragic incident with him losing his best friend definitely affected him. Now, going through something like that can be dramatic for anyone, and it's not easy for some people to overcome that. Losing someone that is close to you, whether it's a family member or a friend, can be devastating. But it's good to know Brandon was able to recover from that and has since moved on with his life and is doing well. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And guys, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe for more great videos. Guys, I truly, truly do appreciate it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.